Hello everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to today's session. Today we are reviewing a beautiful PowerPoint presentation template from Envaro Elements, the Xnote PowerPoint template. This PowerPoint template is amazing as it can be easily customized as per your requirements. It has got some amazing features like it is available in 4x3 and 16x9 ratio layouts. Then there are 40 plus slides along with some great transitions. You can get more details about this presentation template by checking out the links in the video description and you can get a discount as well. If we talk about the themes, it comes in four themes, colored light, colored dark, orange and green. Other than that, you can use the mockup style slides where you can add the mockups of app, web products. So these slides are, you know, really amazing and it looks nice. Then there are infographic slides where you have to just edit the text in terms of title and description. So this Xnode PowerPoint template covers wide range of slide designs like cover slides, portfolios, charts, infographics, information, text-based, themes, timelines, and objectives. So let's take a look at all the slides of the Xnode PowerPoint template and then we will create some beautiful slides from it. So now we have created this beautiful slide using this template, two slides. So let's start with this one. And for that, we have to copy this rectangle and paste it on this screen, remove its outline. And we will now fill the gradient color and it will take some time as we are, as we will test different colors and gradient stops I think the radial type will look good here so if you don't know how to fill the gradient colors you can watch the video and you can see the link on the top right corner So we are using three gradient stops. So you have to adjust these and the transparency level. And you can also select the direction as per the requirement. I think this one is looking fine. Once it is done, Select the triangle and draw it like this and edit its points so that it doesn't look like a straight line. Now duplicate the rectangle, place it over the triangle but it should be aligned with the first rectangle. Now select both the shapes and press intersect and you will get the shape like this remove its outline fill white color increase the transparency 
to like 92% or 95%. After that, you have to rotate it vertically and horizontally. And then place it on the right side. Now duplicate and reduce its width and it will create this beautiful effect. And again duplicate it. Flip it vertically and then horizontally and place it on the left top corner of this blue shape. And, and then you can group it and place it like this by dragging the corner and pressing the shift. Now again insert rectangle, remove its outline, fill white color. Go to shapes. Again draw the triangle. The steps are similar as we have done it for the background. Edit the points again and drag the points from both the corners and you will get the curve like this. Again duplicate the rectangle, align it with the first rectangle and then select the triangle and the rectangle and press intersect. Again you will get, get the shape like this. After that fill some light color then again duplicate align it with the rectangle and increase its width like this. Now increase the transparency and you can see some depth in the shape. And after that, once both these shapes are in place, just adjust the colors so that these are slightly visible. After the alignment and their placement, you have to check if the transparency level are okay. Now it's looking fine. Now select all these three shapes, press Ctrl G and then duplicate this shape and place it at the bottom. Increase its height by dragging it from the middle. Now duplicate this rectangle and place it in the middle. Reduce its width and increase its height to match these two rectangles. Then again duplicate these two rectangles and place it on the right side. So this looks like a collage of shapes. And now we have to just copy the information from the previous slide and paste it on, it, on this slide. So in the previous slide there are icons and for that we are creating the icons placeholder by inserting this circle, remove its outline, fill gradient fill matching the theme that is blue and green. So we have used two gradient stops. Slightly increase the width and reduce its size. So this is the icon placeholder and we will place the icon inside this circle. Now copy the icon from the previous slide and paste it on this slide. Change its color to match the theme. Reduce its size by dragging it from the corner and pressing shift and place it inside this circle. Similarly copy the second icon from the previous slide and paste it on this slide. After that change its color to blue matching the theme and reduce its size from the corner by pressing shift and place it inside this circle. Once it is done make sure it is well aligned. Select all these shapes and group them together and paste it on the boxes 
on the right side. Now select one icon set and place it on the center box as well. Once it is done, we have to now paste the content. Of course, this is a dummy content and you can change it as per your requirement. So change the font color to black because we are using white theme. We can keep the title in blue color and we can change the description in light gray color matching the theme. And once all the items are pasted, so this will be the final result and you can see we have used this template to create this beautiful presentation slide i hope you will like it now let's jump to the second design that we have created using this powerpoint presentation so in the second design you can see there is this image placeholder in the gradient color so i have already taken the screenshot of my youtube channel and i have pasted it here after that you have to reduce its transparency so that it matches with the placeholder after that you can crop the extra portion of the screenshot now just drag it towards the right remove this text now restore its transparency then copy press ctrl plus c the screenshot after that select the placeholder change image press on clipboard and it will automatically paste itself on the placeholder then you can change the title here as per your requirement like i've changed to powerpoints are easy to design similarly you can change the content and all the information here now copy this gradient placeholder because we are using the components here and increase its height and width to match the slide width and send it to back in order to make the fonts visible change the color to white and in the end you will get a beautiful slide like this so this is the xnode template and i hope you will like it so please check out the link in the video description for more information and you can get this template at a discounted price so enjoy this beautiful template and we will see you guys in our next video please do not forget to subscribe to our channel join the membership and check out the description for more information thank you